Senator Henderson. Thank you very much. I rise in this adjournment debate to provide a progress report on some of the key projects the Morrison Liberal Government is delivering for the Karangamite electorate and across the greater Geelong region and through southwest Victoria. I am indeed honoured to be a regional senator for Victoria, but I want to reiterate that the Liberals are continuing to deliver in spades for the mighty Karangamite electorate and we are, in fact, the only ones proudly delivering for the mighty Karangamite electorate. While Labor in Victoria is embroiled in the most shocking crisis of its own making, behaviour that shows that Labor is rotten to the core in Victoria, our government, led by Prime Minister Morrison and here in the Senate by Senator Cormann, is getting on with the business of putting Australians first at this most extraordinary, difficult time for our nation. While our focus is on delivering the urgent economic and health response to the coronavirus pandemic, we are also continuing to deliver on the many investments on which Australians rely to support their communities, whether it be road and rail infrastructure upgrades, community infrastructure, health facilities, better te telecommunications and, of course, vital investments to support jobs growth. So tonight I want to put, report, uh, present uh, a bit of a report card on some of the key investments in our region and, uh, of course, I have my office now, my Senate office now in Geelong, so I am still very much a part of this particular region. Of course, the wonderful news for so many residents living in southwest Victoria is the Princess Highway duplication uh, is almost complete. And while the state member for South Barwon tried to erroneously open that project on his own accord last year, uh, the fact of the matter is that that project is not quite complete, but it is a wonderful testament to our commitment to better roads for regional Victoria, an investment of some $550 million in partnership with the state, which is delivering so much for regional communities, for regional businesses and, of course, for families. Another wonderful project is the Howitzer Defence Project, the building and sustaining of 30 self-propelled howitzers, which our government has committed to Geelong which will not only provide vital capability for the Australian Army, but will deliver up to 350 jobs. And when Labor cancelled this project in 200, 2012, they neglected a huge opportunity to support Australia's advanced manufacturing industry while stripping Army of a much needed capability. And I'm incredibly proud of our commitment to this great project. And I have to put on record it is the height of hypocrisy for the member for Carayo to criticise anyone in relation to this project when you consider Labor's dismal record. That is a great project which demonstrates our commitment to local jobs and to advanced manufacturing in the Geelong region. I'm delighted to see some great progress with our commitment to aquatic facilities in, on both the Ballerine and the Surf Coast. And today, the Surf Coast Shire has approved, in principle, a $38.5 million aquatic and health facility, which includes a 50-metre pool, one of the conditions of funding for our $20 million commitment made before the last election. This is a massive win for the Surf Coast community, uh, for community health, for wellbeing, for swimming safety. I have fought for this facility for such a long time. And now, again, I call on the state Labor government to deliver the funding, the funding shortfall of some $9 million that is required to match the Commonwealth's funding so that this dream can be realised. I am incredibly hopeful that state Labor will come to the table. And I want to particularly acknowledge the incredible community effort which has gone into advocating for an aquatic facility, including by the Surf Coast Aquatic Leisure Centre Action Group, as they so passionately argued, build it, and we will swim, and we're very much hoping that will happen. Of course, I'm also very proud of the $10 million commitment we made to a ballerine pool, an outdoor pool. 
uh, and I'm also very proud of the leadership shown by Mayor Stephanie Asher. Uh, we are, in contrast to Labor, determined to make this happen. Uh, as locals may remember, Labor committed to nothing more than a small amount of feasibility funding. The Morrison Liberal government, in fact, committed to $10 million, and we have a great vision for the people of the Ballerine. And I do very much hope that, again, State Labor will come to the table with funding for stage two of this project. Uh, this is under feasibility uh, consideration right now. It will be, uh, we hope, in Drysdale, uh, but is also a great win for this community and demonstrates the Liberals' commitment to the people of Karangamite. Uh, we've also had some very good progress on the Geelong rail duplication project, stage one, which is a second platform at Warren Ponds and a pedestrian pass, is contracted and uh, has got underway. And the state government has finalised the project proposal for stage two, which is duplication of the track from Warren Ponds through to South Geelong, upgrade of the Marshall and South Geelong railway stations and the grade separation of several roads, including the Surf Coast Highway. But it is disappointing that this project has taken so long to deliver. Uh, the business case in itself took two years. And when I first started campaigning to fund this project, which is all about delivering faster and more reliable rail services, I started that campaign back in 2015. The responsible Victorian Minister Jacinta Allen said it was not a priority. So uh, this government is now delivering some 80 per cent of the total cost of the project, some 850 million combined with works on the Warrnambool line. And we are very proud of our commitment to faster, more reliable rail in the Geelong region. And I do want to place on record the letter from the Prime Minister, which he wrote to the Premier uh, last August, requesting that the Premier nominate infrastructure projects for this fast tracking of funding. It is disappointing that this project was not nominated. And I again urge the state Labor government to get on with this incredibly important project. Uh, we have had some really major challenges with infrastructure. There has been some serious botch planning for the Geelong Ring Road extension, and Labor has failed to deliver any funding to duplicate the Bowen Heads Road, uh, as it promised to do before the last state election. Of course, there is also no matching funding to the $2 billion that we committed to more than a year ago for fast rail between Melbourne and Geelong. That is incredibly disappointing. We need to see a plan. We need to see a commitment and we need to see the Premier deliver on better rail services for regional Victoria. I'm delighted that the Geelong City deal, the funding agreement, the $370 million Geelong City deal, for which I fought so hard, has now been signed by all parties, supported by $183 million from the Morrison Liberal government, delivering some wonderful projects, including the upgrade of the Apollo Bay Harbour, uh, great infrastructure facilities for Kennet River, Lawns Point Grey upgrade, uh, in huge investment into the Twelve Apostles, a new convention centre for Geelong, a new ferry terminal for Queenscliff, critical infrastructure projects to drive the visitor economy in particular, and we know how important these investments will be, particularly as we work so hard to reopen our economy and to build the jobs growth that we so desperately need. Uh, there are plenty of other investments being rolled out, a new headspace for Ocean Grove, which is about to open within the next few months, upgraded medical facilities for Port Arlington, uh, a large number of new community sporting facilities and new surf lifesaving club upgrades. And of course, uh, works have already started on a $193 million upgrade of the Point Wilson Wharf, the ammunition wharf, very important for our defence capability, and some great private investments for our region. The spirit of Tasmania will make Geelong home, wonderful news. And today, Viva Energy has announced uh, an incredible commitment to establish an LNG gas import terminal. So there is great things happening in our region 
and I am so proud of the work of the Morrison government in how we are delivering for Karangamite, for Geelong and for South West Victoria. Thank you.